So being an entrepreneur, especially in this business where you're changing the paradigm of how farmers produce their food with, with these products and substituting one product for another, the, what we found is that the academic scientists would test products um, in an artificial situation so that actually introduce insects or molds to the field on a, in a vi very high level in a little test plot and then test my product side by side with the chemical. And it was totally artificial. The farmers don't do that at all. The farmers m use lots of different products in cocktails. So they'll mix five products in a tank and spray it out, a fungicide, an insect killer, a weed killer, and maybe even two fungicides at the same time. Or they'll rotate products. So they'll have a program to prevent insects and mold the, the fungus from developing resistance and to, the, to the chemical so the chemicals uh, will still work. They rotate from one chemical to another. So they never use anything standalone. But all the government work was done, I mean, I mean sorry, all the academic work was done with um, standalone, very artificial situations. So I actually formed a group called the Biopesticide Industry Alliance in the year 2000. I called all my colleagues in the industry and said, let's get a trade group together and start lobbying to change some of these things, which we did, which is now a, a, a nonprofit with uh, an executive director and dues paying and has about 29 members. And we got the Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Department of Agriculture to fund a program. They always say that if you want um, someone to, you want someone in the university, at least in our land grant university, to, to do something, you, you, they go where the money is. So, so they, they seeded and put out a lot of grants. And as part of the grant proposal, the, the, the grant proposal they had to, if they sent in a, a grant proposal, that, a grant application that had them stand alone side by side, immediately rejected. The whole idea was that they would get money for doing on-farm research where it would integrate these types of bioproducts just like the farmer was doing in a more practical way. That completely changed the attitude of these types of uh, university professors, uh, extension specialists they call them, when they saw that they started getting really good data on the farm, they saw these products were getting, uh, when you integrated one of these bioproducts in, the farm was getting higher yields, at, at, least, at least as good control, and even often a better quality. One of the farmers I met in Mexico when I was uh, down there talking to customers said, he saw that when you break this chemical cycle, it's like a plant's on steroids all the time. And so it's chemical, 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 and then eventually the health of the plant poops out. But if you have this break with a biological product in there, the, it, the, it can give the, it a little break and the plant health increases. And time and time again, we see the growers tell us that there's uh, um, a higher yield and higher quality when they uh, incorporate our products in.